hey hi everyone welcome to our new session on confluence so in today's video we are going to cover two topics one is uh, children display and page tree um, these are the two macros present in confluence that we are going to explore right so the requirement is we want to have a confluence space page structure at top for navigation and also um, we want to see child pages displayed in parent page for navigation so maybe this might not make any sense at the moment but let me show you a demo of it so that you can relate what i'm um, talking about over here okay so this is uh, the scenario that uh, we are going to execute so the requirement is uh, PMO wants to set up a page tree that shows all the pages within the space at one place, which in turn help in navigation, right? So for example, this is the top page, right? We, and we have these child pages, project A, B, C, C, D, X, Y, Z, right? So at the main page, we want to see these pages, right? The link to these pages at the main page. And similarly, we have a project ABC, which has different artifacts stored at the, in the child pages. So we want to create a table of content uh, with links to these pages at the parent page, right? So what we are doing is we have a parent page where we will be having the link to each of these pages. And similarly, we'll have a main page right i would say uh, the root page where uh, under which all of the structure has been set up where we'll have link to all of these pages right and how this help is uh, let's take an example you have a confluence space where you have a lot of data like when it's a lot of data that means there are many pages created there are many child pages created right and whenever someone comes to your conference space and want to um, just navigate and find a particular information though we have a navigation navigation pan on the left hand side but it still becomes difficult to find an information right so the easiest part is we can add a table of content at one page right when it's a table of content and this is a different macro from the one that we discussed in the previous session right so over here what happens it shows the pages that we have right so table of content was for headings and this particular macro where we talk about page tree and children display so here we are talking about the pages that have been created and linked to those pages right so we are creating an index of these pages right so how we can navigate to these pages easily just from a single source single page right so let's uh, get into the demo to understand it better right so that you can relate to how the same is utilized in the real world right because you you will be able to relate to what i'm saying uh, when i show a display of uh, the demo of the same right so uh, right now at the moment this is my uh, conference space and within that i have these two pages and these are the parent page and within that i have these child pages right and these child pages have some kind of information and similarly i have this project page which is a parent page and again within that i have these child pages and like one of these child page has its own child pages and then we have one more child like within that we have few more pages created right so there's a complete hierarchy that has been created over here right so it's quite difficult if you notice someone wants to find a particular information he or she needs to just uh, expand keep on expanding and just seeing okay where the information is present right right so we will be overcoming this challenge and how we can do it is let's take for example i'm under this page view and i'll just edit this page and we'll just add a macro so add a macro page tree okay so now if you just noticed without entering any detail just by adding this macro it has listed these two you know these are the, these two parent pages that we had within the space right because it automatically takes the space name where we are adding a particular macro right 
and if and we can uh, provide a different uh, like if you have multiple spaces somewhere else present like you have two to three uh, confluence spaces created right you can still see uh, uh, the index that means uh, the page structure in a different confluence space just by entering the um, the space name over here right so what we are going to do is and there is one interesting thing that we'll add is uh, expand collapse link and there is something called a start depth right to what level do we want to show the information at once so at the moment it is depth 1 if I do depth 2 so it will show uh, two um, I would say it will show the structure at two levels right let's refresh okay you see it has expanded this and it is showing this information as well right and if I increase the depth we will be able to get into more detail so now let's refresh you see we have got into more and then if I click on 4 maybe we would be able to see even the child pages of some of uh, the maybe the risk all those we created you see this risk register risk one risk two we are getting into depth now right so for example we are the program page and I don't want individuals or stakeholders coming over here to get into s such a uh, detailed view we just put as depth as two Mm -hmm. so what happens they see okay there are two sections program view if they want to see the consolidated one they can navigate if they want to see the project view if they want to get see any details about the project they can click on this let's click on insert so we have added this page tree macro I click on publish so do you see this and the best part of this collapse level like I can just collapse all bring okay these two and again expand as well so we get into details of it right but as I said I don't want to see the details right so what I can do is I can come over here edit I can remove this expand collapsible links I click on publish now you just have these views program they can okay they can just go over here so these are all links right if someone wants to okay directly want to access a particular page maybe this project they click on it it automatically takes you to that particular space interesting right now now the other macro that we have which performs a very uh, maybe a similar kind of functionality is children display like for example we are under this project view and what we want to do is now let's get into okay let's get into this project page so what I want to do is I want to add like for example if someone is coming to my particular page right what I want to do is I want to add a table of content using which they can navigate through the through all the project artifacts that are present just from one place rather than going uh, finding them from the navigation pan and getting into the information right so I just want to create a kind of links with table of content that lists all the pages that we have within that particular uh, parent page okay so what I'm gonna do is children display okay so it has already started listing like if you don't enter anything and what it does is it automatically considers the page where you're adding the macro as the parent page and lists all the children for that particular page where the macro has been added right so what we are going to do so there are various I would say if we compare this particular macro with uh, the page tree both performs similar kind of functionality it's just that this children display macro has some additional features okay and what are those I will just explain that okay so for example right now we are listing uh, this particular page has uh, four child pages and I want to limit these child pages to two so I so that means I just want to see risk register and mom I don't want uh, 
to show roadmap and documentary so what will happen let's see you see we just we can just limit what we are showing right something which is at the top uh, shows up over here okay if you don't specify anything it shows everything now we have something called a depth of descendants right this is very much similar to the one that we discussed in page 3 where there was the depth to which we want to see the links i would say see the content right so for example i want to see till 3 so do you see first these are the main pages and then within this page we have these child pages so it has listed so we do not have any uh, third child page for that means a child page for these pages else it, it would have shown over here right so that's what this means and like now for example i just want to see uh, like the depth only for these two parent page that is this register and mom i can just put number of children as two great isn't that great and also the one thing that we can do is we can change the heading style how we want to display this and maybe we want to put this into h2 like we talked about headings in our, my last video right so if you want to change the heading style like maybe increased font something like that you can do it you see the font size has increased and you can just make it smaller as well you can change the headings too okay and there's one more thing that we can do is like for example you are at a particular place maybe somewhere within the confluence and you don't want to see the child pages of the existing page for example i'm at the top of uh, the entire structure and maybe i just want to see uh, i would just want to see all the pages that are present for project um cd maybe okay let me see cd C D E and okay let's mention carry okay so if you notice we are at the moment in page Donald and from Donald what I'm trying to do is okay let me add it again I just clicked on escape and it everything went out went off <laughs> okay so children children and what we are trying to do is uh, carry I see carry so I'm in Donald page and I want to see all the child pages for uh, carry you know, who is the project manager for CD right so what I can do is I just need to put the parent page name so we can access any structure page structure from anywhere within confluence right so I just click on this you see CD and we can just increase the descendants 3 wait insert publish so what has happened so we have this table of content if someone comes to this page and want to see any specific details of this form related to a particular project right now we have added CD but we would have added ABC so what they need to do is they just need to click on that particular page and it takes them to that particular section of that particular page right so isn't that pretty cool this really helps in navigating I would say when you are navigating from uh, navigating from one page to another page and like rather than just scrolling over here expanding each and every page you can just create these kinds of uh, a content right where, where it really helps you to navigate and find which information is present where and also it gives you an overview at just one place where you can see everything okay these are the pages and these are the child pages for them right if I want to go here I can just click on that and I can just it directly navigates me to that particular part within the confluence right so that's how this particular these two macros help us quite similar I would say uh, but the page tree macro is somewhere uh, where you can create uh, you can where you can generate the child pages for different uh, uh, I would say different confluence spaces 
by being in one space you can access another space and with these children displays somewhere where within a particular space you can get the child pages of um, any page tree that means within this conference tips and tricks I can uh, like access any page tree and get uh, all the child pages present within it and just create a table of content at the main page so that's how these two macros are used and are quite helpful I would say for navigation so that's all for today's uh, session uh, related to page tree and children display I hope this was informative if you like my video please do uh, subscribe to my channel as well as do comment for feedback thank you so much have a wonderful day ahead